Hello and welcome to the Open Virtual Film Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Bulk Edit Material Instance tool. To access the tool with Unreal Open, either open the OVFP main menu from the dropdown or the toolbar button, and click the Content Browser Material Tools, and into this Bulk Edit MI section. From there, you have a few options on how to get your material instances that you're going to be editing. The first one is to make a selection in the scene and click this Load from Scene button. It will jump you to the content browser showing all of the material instances that you could be editing and select them for you, as well as fill out all of the texture parameters. The alternative is to make a selection in the content browser and choose a sample material by clicking the arrow and then Load from Sample Material, which will also fill out all of the parameters. There are four types of parameters you can work on texture, vector, scalar, and parent parameters. Texture, vector, and scalar parameters are all very similar. With any of the parameters, you need to click the checkbox next to the parameter name that you want to be editing. For textures, that's a drop-down menu where you can select whatever texture you want. For scalars, that is a scrolling bar where you can scroll or type in a new value. And for vectors, it is a color picker. So I'm going to give all of these assets a light blue tint on top of their brown. I have checked the tick box next to base color tint. I have a selection of material instances in the content browser, and then I can click the edit materials in content browser. Wait for a second to refresh, and you see I have a nice blue purple tint on top of the wood grain that I already generated. Be sure to save all before and after using this tool, as it can be a bit finicky. The last section of parameters that you can edit is the parents where you're able to swap the old parent material for a new parent material. To do a graphical bug inside of Unreal, if you select the dropdown, it can frequently drop in a random location on the screen. So instead of choosing the new material here, I'm going to choose in the Master Material Surfaces directory and select this MM Swap Solid Gradient. Then with a selection of material instances, I can tick this old material section and click the Edit Materials in Content Browser button again, wait for it to update, and now when I open these materials, whereas once its parent said MM Swap Solid, now says MM Swap Solid Gradient. You will however notice that there is a yellow box error next to Edit Mats inside of Content Browser, telling you that if you use this parent material section, and the material instance you're working with is already inside of Unreal, Unreal will crash, so the safest way to edit the parents of a bunch of materials all at the same time is to create an empty level, make your selection, and then edit the material from there. This will reduce crashes significantly when editing parent materials specifically. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.